nice looking night here as we take a live look on the KAGS weather cam. Not any wet streets around the Bryan College Station area because of no rain today. Uh, kind of humid and, and warm. Temperature today was 90 degrees for our high this afternoon. That is below average for July 2nd, though our average high 94 degrees for this time of year. Currently, readings have dropped into the upper 70s. We have 78 in Bryan College Station in Navasota, 79 in Madisonville, 76 in Caldwell, 77 in Hearn, Cameron, and Brenham at the present time. Easterwood has 78 degrees. The dew point fairly high, 72. That gives us a relative humidity of 81 percent, hence the warm and humidity and south southeast winds nine miles per hour right now winds were a little more out of the east earlier this evening bringing in some air from those showers over around Huntsville and uh, Conroe area and Lake Livingston and that uh, brought a little bit of rain cooling even though we didn't have any rain in town we benefited from the rain nearby with uh, a little bit cooler temperatures late this afternoon and evening here's a look at the Atlantic Ocean things are all quiet in the tropics we have a frontal band well offshore from the east coast of the US and nothing in the way of organization to any systems there. We've also got uh, some moisture in the Gulf of Mexico, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but there is one hurricane in the eastern Pacific right now, and it's got an eye, so it is a strong hurricane. This is Barbara. Hurricane Barbara has winds of 140 miles per hour. The good news is here's Hawaii way out here. Here's the west coast of Mexico and the United States, and Barbara is no threat to any land areas, and let's hope it stays that way. Now, there is a lot of moisture over the western Gulf, and it's headed northward into Texas, and because of high pressure right now over the eastern Gulf, it's steering that moisture right up into the Lone Star State. So we've got high rain chances for one more day thanks to this trough over the uh, western part of the state and the upper levels helping to pull the moisture up as well as the high pressure. Now what's going to happen over the next couple of days, high pressure over the Gulf will build closer to us. There may still be enough lingering moisture on July 4th for uh, a slight chance for showers, uh, especially in the afternoon. But by this weekend, the high bill's right on top of us. That should shut down the rain chances and heat things up with hotter and drier weather coming our way. For tomorrow, rain chances are still pretty high with that slug of gulf moisture coming in and calling for a 50 to 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms, mainly from around lunchtime through the afternoon. On July 4th, here we go, starting off the day with some clouds, but then partly cloudy most of the day on Independence Day, and just a slight chance, 20 to 30 percent for afternoon showers, and they should be over by the time any fireworks celebrations get underway on Thursday evening. In the morning, a 20 percent chance for showers increasing to 50 percent later in the day, and we might stay below 90 degrees for one day, 89 calling for the high tomorrow, 92 though on Independence Day, and then highs in the mid-90s as we start drying up, getting sunshine over the weekend and beyond into next week.